Um, I don't know. I kind of work pretty spontaneously when I when I have like a thought about an art project, and so I kind of j- I jumped. I guess how did I, I was drawing out ideas for more future islands after I made that initial one, and um, from that I was thinking about a dog poop island. I was like, maybe all these plastic bags can be a poop island. And so I was just drawing out these <laughs> islands, and one, and I started kind of going off on a tangent on one of the drawings, um, which I think I can show you guys. Um, but basically, the idea is there's like this dog poop island that gets floated down the the Willamette um, River. So I was just gonna put a bunch of them in this like floating bag that was gonna like heat shrink shut or something and like have it float down and I was gonna create an imaginary place like down the river somewhere where like two people walk out and grab the poop and then they bring it to a like assembly line and take the poop out of the bags and you know the poop goes in like one of the poop thing goes into like a dog manure type thing and the plastic bags get recycled um just and I was thinking about making a video or something and so I gathered up all the poop intending to make that video um making like a weird like we're gonna float this because I I think I heard that Portland it's um compost or recycle gets moved down the river or something to another town um, How dirty is the Willamette River? Is it pretty dirty or is it not so dirty? Oh, I'm not, I'm not sure. Oh. I don't know. Sorry. Um, but I know in my town in Pensacola, all the trash gets moved on barges, hmm. um, you know, to other places. And I think here, not too far from Portland, there's another town or something, and it's got all the, like, compost. And I've heard it maybe smells kind of funny there. I don't know. <laughs> So I was thinking about this as being like the stand-in for the compost town, this like dog poop assembly line town. Um, So I went out with park ranger Steve and we started collecting um, the dog poop bags and I just had him film me collecting the bags. You actually had to get a park ranger to... No, he's he's not a park ranger. Oh, 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 okay, sorry, I missed that part. so we collected a lot of these, and uh, after a while I just got rid of the extra ones that I had, because so I was like, I can always get more, and you can, you know, you see them like, I saw like two yesterday walking around my neighborhood. Um, how, many, how many do you think you've collected so far? I haven't collected that many. I think on that one trip I collected maybe like 35 bags. Okay. And that was within about a two hour period. Yeah. So 35 bags. Um, and I was worried, you know, I was like, maybe I won't be able to get dog poop bags anymore. What if I lose, you know, but I... The world supply of dog poop. I couldn't keep them here in the studio, you know, there's like other people around. And I was like, they have to be sealed. And I had them in like a trash can. And finally, I got rid of those. Um, but the ones that I did save, I just had a few ideas that I was going to play with, which was the dog poop. Uh, print here. Well, it's not really a print. It's a smash. Like a dog smash. I like that dog poop smash. Yeah, it's a smash. <laughs> um, it's a new media. So I wanted to do that to sort of show people, like, I felt like the poop bags were being left behind because people were, like, not wanting to be seen touching them or that. And I thought this sort of did the opposite of that. Um, so... <laughs> smashed it and uh, this is made by running over it with my car in between the two pieces of plexi and then after you run it over with your car you just seal it I sealed it with some uh, glue and yeah so now there's a that smash it's archival it's semi-archival yeah I would say it's archival it could be archival but I think the thing that's interesting about it is the dog poop is now like deflated and you really can see the, the, the sort of ins and outs of what's going on there and hmm. it's presented to the viewer in, in a way where nothing is hidden 
you know, sort of like this is what you're, this is sort of what you're dealing with when you're dealing with dog poop in a bag.